When I think about my relationships with my clients, I would, I guess I would boil it down to maybe four different things that I feel like are important in fostering a really strong relationship and a sense of loyalty uh, that goes beyond just kind of a vendor uh, client relationship. Uh, we try to avoid ever being thought of as a vendor in our office. We want to be at the table. We want to be a team player. We want to be a partner. We want to be a, you know, a strategist. We want to be the person that they're texting or calling when they need to make a hard decision because there's a lot of trust there and there's almost a, a, a layer of friendship that, that wraps around the relationship. And to achieve that, there are a few things that we, that we focus on. Number one is really just doing what you say you'll do. So always delivering, keeping your word. Uh, if you make a promise, to keep that promise. And, and that's pretty straightforward, but it's so important to trust. And I think it happens, uh, it happens to be overlooked as something that's, maybe obvious or maybe flexible and, it, and it's not. So I think really just doing what you say you'll do is, is the first step. Uh, the second step in our business at least is that a lot of the work happens behind the scenes. So we talk about what the client's goals are, we talk about what they're trying to accomplish and why they came to us. And then we do our research and our discovery and then we go away and we're doing a lot of work. We've got our heads down, we're, we're buried and, and digging deep into their strategy. And the client can, and can have a period of significant silence because we're off doing that work. And so early on I realized that the client, even during that quiet time when the team is moving things forward behind the scenes, really needs constant communication and, and wants to know that you're thinking about them and that their work is moving forward. So we actually over communicate and, and really try to show progress at every stage of the game. Uh, we want our clients to know that we are thinking about them constantly. So we find ways to, even during that time where we're moving a very long-term big project forward, um, to have those checkpoints and to keep nurturing that relationship and to keep showing progress and to keep, to keep proving value. So consistent communication is a really, a really critical factor. Uh, the other two things are, are maybe less obvious. One is that we are constantly trying to surprise and delight our clients. So um, it's really important to deliver what you say you'll deliver, but then also to have moments of uh, delivering beyond what they expected, to deliver something that is more creative than they could have ever imagined uh, or more fun than they could have ever imagined. Part of the experience in working with, with our agency and, and I hope in working with me on a, daily, and on a daily basis is just having clients have fun in the relationship. So we have a beautiful historical office uh, with that's really creatively laid out and, and clients walk in and they say, can I come work here or can I move in? And, um, and, and a lot of times we're working directly with the CEO or the CMO, um, but no matter who we're working with, we often hear, this is the best meeting I had all week. And just to have them have that experience with us, to have a good time, to have it be a departure from the day-to-day -day minutia that they're working toward, or to be a break from the visionary thinking that they're doing about their business, and to come over and to feel a part of the creative process is really important. So surprise and delight is, is something that we talk about constantly. Uh, and then the last thing is that we push our clients. So we have a policy of not being the people that say yes to things because the client has asked for it. Sometimes what the client wants initially isn't the best thing for them. So we have a, a, um, a bit of courage in the department of saying no to our clients, pushing them on ideas, uh, rejecting their ideas at times and, and always presenting a better idea for consideration. Uh, it's really important and, and that's something that's not easy to do, you know. We want, we want the best for them and 
sometimes that requires having a difficult conversation about an idea that they had or a strategy that they wanted to follow and telling them that we think that there's a better opportunity. And sometimes that works and sometimes that doesn't work and sometimes that leads to something even better. But I think, uh, you know, really pushing them and showing them that you have their best interests in mind is, is a great way to go.